All right, now, well, this is private, so. Nothing like stepping foot right out of camp into a giant freaking climb. Good morning and welcome to day 13. And today is March 6th. It's based on Corbin's birthday. So here I am getting my butt kicked out here in the mountains and I could be at home celebrating my son. I think today I'd rather be at home. Definitely with Corbin. Hey buddy, I love you. Happy birthday. I am so damn proud of you. You're a wonderful, wonderful kid. And uh, I can't wait to see you in May. Look what daddy gets to climb for your birthday. I have multiple things over 4,200 feet today. Just for you, bud. <laughs> uh, so today I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower than yesterday. Yesterday was 12.4. Today is gonna be 7.1. And it looks like it's going to be a fun 7.1. There's lots of elevation, like I just said. Um, I need to push that out of my mind. It's just just steps, right? You got to take steps. So a 7.1 today. I think a 7.1 tomorrow. And then a 12. And then a 4. And that'll get me into Franklin. Um, where right now I'm thinking just resupplied, like do a Nero. Go in for the night. Wash some clothes. Wash my body. I'm funky. And... Uh, resupply and then get back out the next day but i'll probably decide that after today maybe i'll do another zero i don't know but um anyway i hope you all had a good night and uh let's go conquer a bunch of uh 4400 foot high mountains yeah let's do this Woo oh i forgot so when you come across the north carolina georgia border um up a little ways there's a campsite that's where i stayed last night there's an old mangled tree. It's a very famous tree on the trail. Everybody gets a picture with it. I couldn't last night because people were like all over it, camping and stuff like that. So here's what it looks like. See, I filmed that for you. Now let's go. I mean, look at that. This is how you start your day at a Bly Gap. I mean, it was North Carolina trying to make a statement like, we got big mountains up here. Come on, North Carolina. Look at, build a trail around there, man. Oh, all right. Welcome to North Carolina. We did one. One out of the way. So that was, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's not even pulling up on her. But here's what we have in store today. A 4,700 foot, uh, a bunch of 4,500s, and then a 4700. Tomorrow, though, we're getting up into the fives. <sighs> but we did one, right? And that's like, you got to do one to get to the next one, to get to the next one, to get to the next one. <sighs> you just got to lean forward. And if you fall, at least you're moving forward, right? All right. On to the next. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry, but. You may not get a lot of camera left behind. I walk up massive elevation today. Just ride with me. Ride right here next to my heart. Can you do that for me? All right, so that's uh, challenge number two. Courthouse whatever. Up top. 4,700 feet. I just passed Courthouse Bald, which is pretty high, good climb. And then you just keep going. It's not like, you know, when you get to the top of these things, there's no signs. There's no like, um, I don't know. You don't get this, oh, I've achieved something. Because, I mean, while you have, you've got the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. This just kind of, the last one prepares you for the next one, right? And uh, so... You get and you're like, oh, I think I'm probably going to get to the top and see something amazing. And sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Um, it's just kind of strange. I mean, I feel freaking great for achieving it, for getting over the top of that. And that's what this is all about, right? Like, 
there's no ledger up there to sign your name that you've been the one millionth conqueror of Courthouse Bald. It's just you. And now on to the next one. But just so you know, this is kind of the view from Courthouse Bald. Just wanted to show you that. I had to cross water like this in a little while. This is exciting. Nice little log bridge. Ooh. Almost to the muskrat shelter, which I'm just going to do a stop over at. Um, but there is a viewpoint. So I'm bringing you up to the viewpoint to see the view from this point. I think that's Hiawassee. Oh, I just scared the shit out of a squirrel. <laughs> Sorry, I scared the poop out of a squirrel. I think that's Hiawassee where that lake is over there because I think one of Georgia's biggest lakes is right there. All right, let's go to the shelter. All right, so this is a muskrat shelter. That looks like a scale. Is that a scale? No, it is not. <laughs> Just a beer can. Built in 1995. This is very nice. It's small. Um, and then that up there is the privy. Now, I don't know if I've showed you a privy yet, but if people want to know, like you got a choice, you have cat holes and you've got privies. Privies are at shelters. You won't find them otherwise, as far as I know, maybe further on, there might be like a random crapper somewhere, but privies are really not all that private. You get, uh, oh, I just tripped, no doors, pretty standard and a toilet. All right, now, well, this is private, so bye. Is that a game hen? What the hell was that? It scared the poop out of me and scared the crap out of him. Holy smokes. Or her, whatever it was. I was cruising along. Do, 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 do. And all of a sudden, do, do, do. that was funny. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything, but it's kind of a big trail. <laughs> I've been alone a lot today. There's some really fun names out here. I like that Chunky Gale Trail. Some of these water sources just amaze me. I mean, this is coming out of the trunk of a tree. Interesting switch back here. Turn around.
it's going to be more difficult. This should be my, I think this is kind of like the last climb. I'm down in Deep Gap right now and headed up to the Standing Indian Shelter. Sorry, I don't know why I'm like bopping. Anyway, I think this is the last kind of climb. I hope there might be a couple. Woo! In the corner of that, it's going to be more difficult. And then I'll be at the shelter. Man, you know, I've just been spending the whole day just thinking about my kid and my family. And when I'm thinking about my family, man, the miles just kind of like blow by. It's, it's interesting. You know, you find that what makes you happy and it just... So... I'm gonna think about my family as I go up this more difficult area. This is like half real, half made up stuff right here. Take a log, build a bridge on it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, it rocks too. Ooh. That's some backwoods engineering. I love it. All right, coming up this last stretch. The shelter should be just around the corner up there. Listen to the waterfalls. You got a really good couple streams coming together down here. Really good flowing water. And then further down that way, you could hear a good waterfall. You couldn't see it. Um, it's pretty far down. I consider going further um, and just camping in like three, four miles, but my feet are telling me otherwise. Um, my pace has slowed. My miles have gotten longer, because I mean, today's only seven, but um, my pace has slowed because my feet are telling me, hey, don't, don't do this, don't do that. Um, every time I kind of try to extend my pace, or stretch out my legs a little bit. My feet go, not yet, not yet. So I'm listening to them, but I am slow, barely over a mile an hour. So that's the shelter back over there. And then you've got tent spots all around here. And I believe the water source, you gotta go down that hill. I don't know where the privy's at. Probably past it. Um, I'm gonna go look at that first before I decide, but this looks like a nice place to camp, to tent. I don't know what that is, camp and then tent and. All right. There's the shelter. Oh, that's cool, so you can hang your bags. And then privy is down there. Nice table. Couple benches. So one thing I haven't shown you yet is at almost every shelter there's a log book. Is there one? Yep. And so you can open up this log book and you put your entry in here or your stay but you can look and see who was here before you. Let's see, anybody I know? No one I've really met, so. Anyway, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll decide. I'm gonna take up my pack and kind of relax for a bit. The water source is pretty far away, but the privy's right there. I like shelters because you can, well, first I was only gonna tent, but I like shelters because you can get up and go. But it sucks when it's really loud. And I think there's a big tramway coming with me tonight or behind me today. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Gotta get used to it, right? So, anyway. Um, all right. Corbin, again, I wanna wish you a happy birthday. I know this video is coming out days and days after your birthday, but I love you. You are an amazing kid, capable of anything you want. And, um, I really wish I was home for this. So thank you for supporting me and letting your dad be out here. You are one of my big motivators to get home as soon as possible. So I love you. Happy birthday. 
to everyone else watching, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you tomorrow.